Let's do a test of significance for the population mean mu when the population standard deviation sigma is not known. Here's the problem. According to the United States Census Bureau's American Community Survey, the national average commute time to work is 24.3 minutes. The CEO of a large company believes that the average commute time for her employees is greater than the national average. The CEO selects a simple random sample of 40 employees. The sample mean for those 40 employees had a mean commute time of 25.6 minutes and a standard deviation of 8.5 minutes. We are to use a test of significance to test the CEO's claim at the .05 significance level. The first thing we want to do is we want to identify the parameter of interest. We want to test a claim about mu. What is mu? Mu is the mean commute time of all company employees. Which test do we need to use when we are testing a claim about a population mean when we do not know the population standard deviation? In that case, we have one population, so we want to do a one sample T test. What are the conditions necessary in order to do a one sample T test? The sample selected must be a simple random sample and the sample mean X bar must either be normal or approximately normally distributed. Do we have these two conditions met? The problem tells us that the 40 employees that were selected were a simple random sample so that condition is verified. Is X bar approximately normally distributed? Yes, because N, the sample size, is 40, which is greater than 30, we know by the central limit theorem that X bar will be approximately normally distributed and our two conditions are satisfied. We are now ready to write our null hypothesis and, and alternative hypothesis both in English and in symbols. Let's first do it in symbols. Our null hypothesis is that mu, the mean commute time of all employees, is equal to 24.3 minutes. And our alternative hypothesis is that mu is greater than 24.3 minutes. Why did we select a one-sided test and choose that mu is greater than 24.3? We chose this because the problem tells us that the CEO believes that her employees have an average commute time that are, gr that are greater than the national average. That is why we selected the one-sided alternative. We still need to write the English statements for these, alternate, oh, for these hypotheses. In English, the null hypothesis is that the mean commute time for all company employees is 24.3 minutes. The alternative hypothesis is the mean commute time for all company employees is more than 24.3 minutes. We are now ready to write our test statistic. In the one sample t test, our test statistic is given by the t test statistic, which equals x bar minus mu naught divided by the standard error of our estimate x bar, which is s divided by the square root of n. What are these values for our problem? Well, x bar is 25.6 minutes. We are testing whether mu equals 24.3, so mu naught is 24.3. The sample standard deviation was 8.5 minutes, and our sample size was 40. Putting this into the calculator, we see that our test, our test statistic t is equal to 0.967. What distribution does our test statistic have? The test statistic has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So in this problem, it has a t distribution with 39 degrees of freedom. We are now ready to draw this sampling distribution for our test statistic and 
which is a T distribution with 39 degrees of freedom. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have a T distribution with 39 degrees of freedom. We've labeled our test statistic of 0.967. Our alternative in this problem was that mu is greater than 24.3 minutes. What is the p-value in relationship to our sampling distribution? This shaded region right here is your p-value. How do we calculate that p-value? The p-value equals the probability that a T distribution with 39 degrees of freedom is greater than our test statistic of 0 0.967. To find this probability, we need to go to a T table. So let's do that now. In our T table, we need to go down to degrees of freedom equal to 39. Because 39 is not in our table, we need to go down to the smaller number. We want to use 30 degrees of freedom. Now we need to go across the table and find between what two numbers does our test statistic lie. Our test statistic of 0 0.967 lies between 0.854 and 1.055. We know that our p-value will be somewhere between 0.15 and 0.20. So we know that our p-value is going to be less than 0 0.20, but it is greater than 0 0.15. What was our alpha level for this problem? Our alpha level for this problem, our significance level was 0 0.05. Our p-value, although we don't know the exact value from the t-table, we do know that the p-value is greater than the alpha level. What does this mean we should do? This means that we should, that we fail to reject the null hypothesis and our data does not support, a, support the claim that the mean commute time is greater than 24.3 minutes. So let's write this and conclude the problem using an English statement. We have, because P is greater than 0 0.15, P is greater than 0 0.05, which is our alpha level, we will therefore fail to reject the null hypothesis that the mean commute time of all company employees is 24.3 minutes. And we have finished our one sample t-test where we tested the claim about the population mean mu when the population standard deviation is not known.